Hi, welcome to our video today. I am joined by Christina Language, who is a personal wardrobe and brand style coach. So thank you for joining me today, Christina. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to chat with you and to be here. That's okay. So first of all, just tell us a little bit about what it is you do and how long you have been doing it. Um, so I do personal wardrobe and brand styling for creative women entrepreneurs that are leaving our corporate job and pursuing their creative passions and kind of going in a different direction and aligning their wardrobe with their branding so that they're constantly projecting their message um, in a cohesive image look, but, um, you know, not like in your face completely telling you, you know, telling people what they do and that kind of a thing. So. Um, just making sure they feel confident and they feel good about what they're doing as they transition over and also with women who are already in that position but are trying to take their business to the next level and just need a little help with their image as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And how long have you been in business for? I've been in business off and on for 10 years, um, just styling men and women and then um, decided that it's actually something I can make money at, make a living at. So I worked um, in the wine industry in California for 12 years in branding and marketing and then left that in 2016 to do styling full time. So it's been two years, three years, almost three oh, years, yeah. wow, next month. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, we're celebrating our 10th birthday today of our business. Oh, so like, oh congratulations. Thank you. But yes, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> That's birthday that we're celebrating in our house with no one right. else because of Exactly. <laughs> Never mind. So, okay. um, so you said like, obviously you did marketing before, but how did you get into really the, the, the styling side of things? You know, I've always wanted to be a fashion designer and what, as a child, I would like draw clothes and make them and make patterns and sew them for dolls, for friends, for myself. And um, it's something I wanted just to pursue. And my mom was like, you're not going to make any money as a designer. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not, you know, fashion doesn't make any money. Go into something practical. So I listened to her. I went to college and I studied public relations and marketing. And then um, when I got to college, I still loved doing fashion. So I would do like fashion shoots and style people when they want to take me shopping with them and that kind of a thing. Um, but stayed in, in the marketing and branding side for 12 years. And uh, off and on, like I said, I would do it for people that would ask me. And it was always like word of mouth from friends and family. Um, and kind of slowly started to build clientele from there and decided, you know, I'm going to... I'm not, I'm not gonna listen to my mother. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And, um, and you know, she's very proud, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just days where we don't need to listen to them anymore. We're allowed to make exactly. our own decisions. Yeah, exactly. Make your own decisions, make your own mistakes and grow from them and then, you know. Definitely. Do you think actually though that your experience with the marketing side of things actually helps what you do now considering you're working with business owners and entrepreneurs? Oh, absolutely. That was probably the best training that I could get because I would know, I wouldn't know how to really go in and I mean, even for myself, go in and marketing myself, like it's not an easy thing to do to market yourself. Marketing other business is great, but having that background really helped push me out of my comfort zone of having to market myself and to help other people define their branding and get to the heart of what their branding and message is and then project that in their image. So mum was right, really. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of. Oh, well. <laughs> right, okay, I'll send her flowers. <laughs> um, so, like, video is obviously used like, so much in business, yes. especially at the moment. But, mm -hmm. you know, on the whole, it is used a lot in business these days. Obviously, we're chatting to each other now. We're going to put this out on social media. We're going to put it into my email campaigns and everything else. So, video is used so, so much. Um, right. And like we even we design our websites around video content as well and our templates yeah. and even our like our designs for our clients. You no, know, we're, we're always thinking about using video. Do you think a lot of people come to you because they're so aware of this and that when we're doing a video, this is gonna hang around for ages. Like this isn't right. sort of like popping to a meeting and 20 people have seen you on that day, then you go away again. And if you've had a bad day of how you look they're going to hopefully forget about it right. it's there for everyone to see and like do you think that sort of you find a lot of people coming to you because of that side of business now yeah you know it was really interesting I launched a style membership program like the Monday before California was put into a quarantine and I thought this is a horrible time to launch this online thing because you know it's just not going to take off but actually I've gotten so many clients and it's just like a one month kind of 
which is what they were what they were signing up for originally. Um, one month of just styling them for video, for uh, conferences, or you know trainings and that kind of a thing, and it's just really taken off from there because people are needing it more and more. So most of my clients, I'm selling all my clients virtually now. I obviously can't work with them in person, um, but a lot of new clients have come just from like, hey, I have you know I'm, I'm working from home now and I have to do a training. I really don't know how to wear you know. To dress for this and be presentable on video like what can i wear what shouldn't i wear can you help me so um yeah i help all of my clients with their video calls now um, their trainings their skyping even like facetiming with friends and family just kind of giving them tips on like okay maybe don't wear that because it looks like if you have a dark background and you're wearing black or dark clothes you look like a floating head and it looks odd so like just tips like that to help them <laughs> as they kind of get used to being in front of camera and um, just making sure that they look their absolute best. Absolutely. And I think it's something that I've realized over the years, like we've been doing video for our business now for probably sort of three years. And um, mm -hmm. over time I've become more and more aware. Like I look back at them and I go, Oh, I perhaps shouldn't have worn that. And like, even <laughs> today though, I'm wondering whether these stripes are going to look all right on video or if they're going to look a bit, woo. <laughs> <laughs> at them, we'll find out. Well, we that didn't consider it until I was sitting here right now. But yeah, I mean, I've certainly got better at it, but um, <laughs> there are still times I look at myself and I go, oh, what was I thinking? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, on, I'm wearing white and I'm on a white background and therefore I'm quite pale anyway. And so therefore, like, <laughs> just like a ghost and that was yeah. a good look. And so, yeah, there's definitely videos of me where I'm basically hair, eyebrows and glasses. And that's good. <laughs> But yeah, it's such an important thing to think about. And, right, and I don't think most people do. No, no, and I don't think, and I think, again, like you get more used to it and you will, mm -hmm. but yeah, on the whole, it's not something that we think about to start off with. People are often more concerned about getting their head around the tech or just what are they going to right. say and not stumble over their words than actually True. Yeah, the whole picture is really important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so um, you said near the beginning that quite a lot of women will come to you when they're early starting out in business. Um, <laughs> is that sort of mainly who you're working with or do you find that you've got quite a variety in where people are at in business when they come to you? Um, actually quite a variety of where people are. I like to help the women that are transitioning. It's just kind of a fun process to kind of see them start their entrepreneurial journey and kind of, you know, work with them. Um, throughout that process but it is a lot of women that are in different stages of their businesses as well so they're just kind of realizing okay my image isn't really aligned with my branding or you know people say oh I didn't know you did that you didn't look like you would do that at all I kind of figured pictured you doing something else so it's just kind of like wherever they feel like they need it um, that's when they come to me and we kind of just work through and figure out okay well what is what is it that you need and what is it that you're hearing back from people that we need to put into alignment so that they know exactly who you are and what you're doing that is so important isn't it like when you're yeah. looking at someone you're getting a first impression of them and especially as like the the internet is so busy these days like it's okay. so hard to like get seen and if um, mm -hmm. a video goes past on your facebook feed and someone doesn't look like what they do then you could just gloss over them without sort of stopping and thinking, oh yeah, that's what I need. I think I probably look like I run a web design company. I think I'm fine. I don't think I need much styling or like <laughs> no power suit needed here or anything. But yeah, it, for some people, if they're saying that they're like fantastic and knowledgeable in finance mm -hmm. and like wealth yeah. and things like that, they need a certain look, don't they, compared to the web designer. Right. <laughs> I mean, certainly not, you know, wearing a hoodie, like not everyone can be Mark Zuckerberg and wear a hoodie all the time, you know. So yeah, you kind of have to present yourself in a way that, um, you know, people, your, your first impression is really important and you only get a few seconds to make that. So if you're making the wrong first impression just because you're having an off day or you're feeling lazy or something, that's, you know, you can, there's ways to work around that so that you actually present your best self at all times with like not the high maintenance part of it. Absolutely. Um, and how do the women that you work with respond sort of after you've worked with them um, at the stage of your process, whether it's that you're just doing the one off with them or you're working with them over time? So sort of what does their response tend to be? Their response, I love their responses because they're always so great. It's really fun for me to watch them transition and for them to get towards the end of the process and see what I see in the very beginning 
of how, you know, they're, they're so beautiful. It's just that they're not putting themselves together in a way that's going to represent them the best. So maybe they're wearing like really baggy clothes or they're not really comfortable with their body, but embracing who they are and their gifts and their body all at the same time and seeing how confident they are. And they're looking really, you know, they're feeling really good when they look in the mirror and they, they, they feel confident. That's my favorite part of it. It's just like kind of the end process where they see what I've been seeing the entire time. And it's kind of nice when they take those blinders off and they're like, okay, I can do this. I do feel capable. I do feel very, you know, I feel beautiful. I feel confident. So that's, that's my favorite part of the process. That's so important, isn't it? I think if you're not showing that you're confident in yourself, then how are your potential clients and your clients going to feel confident in you to do exactly? And that? Right, and people, yeah, and people can sense when someone's not confident. You know, they can sense when they're not, you know, when they're uncertain, and that's not the image that you want to project out when you're trying to get business. So oh, absolutely not. Um, so are there any sort of tips that you can give us today um, to help us think about our presentation um, and to sort of increase all of our confidence when we are working either face to face with people when that time comes again or when right. we are um, presenting ourselves yeah. for our video. Um, posture is huge. If you're not, you know, not carrying yourself properly, then you don't look confident. You don't look very capable. You don't really look that approachable. So carrying yourself with um, confidence and having like a great posture is always really helpful. Um, and that kind of kind of projects some confidence out. And also visualizing yourself as a confident person, I find is really helpful. So even if you're not feeling uncertain about a certain situation or you're feeling a little nervous just kind of okay I'm going to be confident I'm going to go in there and kind of picturing yourself being confident that helps out a lot um, also a great way to feel confident in your clothing is fit so wearing things that are a little too big or a little too small like you look uncomfortable um, if you feel uncomfortable you're going to look uncomfortable so having clothes that fit you properly and if that's you know getting a tailor or become best friends with the tailor that's what I always say so that you can have things that look like they are made to fit your body and they'll look perfect and you will always look put together and confident and just kind of like an effortless um, you know morning to get ready and, and all that's handled so fantastic thank you so much I really wanted to sit up straighter when you talk <laughs> <laughs> yes <Right. laughs> <laughs> everyone get one of those um you know what are they? The balls that you sit on? <laughs> yeah, that would help me. I'll get better posture. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so aware of that now when I'm doing all our videos. I'm going to be like, yep. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. I think it's quite a short chat, but I think there's so much useful stuff in there for people. And hopefully when they are now planning their videos for their social media or for putting on their website, they'll just think about all these little, little nuggets and it'll hopefully help them yeah, be more confident. I think we've got a lot of people um, that are in our audience that have never done a video before. That's something that they haven't um, even wanted yeah. to even try. <laughs> so hopefully that they'll right. think of all these little tips and yeah, they'll get themselves out there a bit more and give it a go. So thank you so much. Okay. And before you go, You're can welcome. you just tell us where people can find you if they want to find out more? Um, probably the best place to follow me is on Instagram. There you'll get a ton of tips because I leave tips every other Tuesday um, about making videos and looking your best self on video. So um, at uh, Christina underscore language and there's no H in Christina. It's just CR. Um, you can find me there on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook at Christina language personal stylist. Um, but most of my tips and all my videos are on Instagram, so that's probably the best place to find you. Put your link in the comments for the video so that everyone can go and find you and keep getting fantastic. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Day. Take care. Bye. Thank you for having me. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.